All right, time for the grand finale. Well, not the grand grand finale, but the finale of the 25 levels of King Dugan's Dungeon. So this is pretty much story oriented. There's really no puzzle left, so let's get right to it. Before you go chasing him, remove this trap door. He will instinctively, the first, if you, he will always go for this switch first. He'll go up, you'll have to go through this all again, which is impossible because there's rooms you cannot clear without him because he disappears. So, yeah, make sure you do that. But he's just like, eh, he's so scared, he's a chicken. <laughs> but he gets through us, and now he's going to run over, close us in, go hit that switch, go through the door, and chase us. There may be a way you could, I think you could probably use this too. It doesn't really matter. Oh no, if you block all the trap doors, he will walk in here and trap himself, yeah. You'll never catch me. So we're almost done with this. So let's get right to it. I think the best way to do this is start from the right side. And then move as fast as possible to in here. We're gonna catch up to him basically. And we'll you'll be one turn short from stopping us. Two turn turn two turns. So, we can go ahead and kill him. Don't kill me, Wines the Neither! I never meant you any harm! And if you could find it in your heart to let me live, I promise I will trouble you no further. Spare the Neither? Sure. Well, I, I, I see honesty in him. So I guess we'll just go ahead and go kill this roach. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. Mr. Rochi strikes again. <laughs> we get to end. We started with Mr. Rochi, we get to end with Mr. Rochi. Go figure. He seeks revenge. He needs the Neither's help, though, to seek that revenge. So, no. We're killing the Neither. Because he's going to... If we try to get to that switch to open this switch to open the Roach, he's going to go ahead and kill us. Any case. We can now... Clear this room. And so that's the end of level 25. Let's go take our prideful walk down. You conquered King Dugan's Dungeon 2.0. I should have made it harder, I guess. Good job, though. Remember, back in the first level when you kept dying in that room with all the roaches? Ha <laughs> ha. No, I don't. Man, you were awful. No, I wasn't. But now, just look at you. We're all so proud. Oh, there I go crying again. Once you master this hold, you'll be able to witness a proper tribute to the sword slaying prowess. Come back to the beginning once you've conquered all the secret rooms. So now we get the ending. This is the fourth end of scrolling text thing I've written. Usually when I write them, it's at the end of a bitter and grueling release cycle. And I feel like I spent the last two years climbing from the bottom of 100 foot well. That'll make me want to tell everyone about how bad the whole game development process is. Like I'm some kind of stoic hero with soul sacrifice, scarring sacrifices need to be appreciated. But not this time. No, I'm pretty good mood as I write this. For once, I'm not going to bring everybody down. Yeah, everybody breathe a sigh of relief. Hey, you busted someone's butt to get through this game. It's a hard game, so you must have enjoyed it yourself to put forth this, the effort. So I'm happy that you liked it this much. Kindergarten's Dungeon is the largest collection of puzzles that I personally wrote. I mean, something like 320 rooms back in the mid-1990s, with Lucas Swine Sword creating the rest of the rooms to original Reese. Then in the 2005, we can pause it, now Frederick and several other people added more rooms. There are now well over 350 rooms. We say over 300 or 350 plus these days. It's bad luck to say the exact count. Kind of like how actors aren't supposed to say Macbeth. There are three or four sets of credits for Kinnugan's Dungeon due to the multiple resources we had. It really gets to the terrible complex describing it all. In this particular credits, I'm only going to describe the people who worked on the latest release of Kinnugan's Dungeon and its companion hold, the choice. For a complete list of people involved, you can find credits on our website and in the game. Various parts of the game. Eric Hunter is the voice coordinator. On this release of Kinnugan's Dungeon, I did very little. I begged Mike to handle as much of the projects as he could. You have to understand that I've worked on these levels off and on for a decade now. I can look at a single Kinnugan Dungeon Room and it's invoked stapled concert announcements from 1950, 1995 riding off a telephone pole. So I'm just a little tired of Kinnugan Dungeon. All I did was on this release was edit the script dialogue a bit to give be throw and consistent style of speaking and then coordinating with Stan and the other actors to get lines recorded. Neil Frederick is level design and testing acting. Neil was the main man on this project. He contributed the majority of the project to Rooms the King Dungeon and is the author of The Choice. The voices for the goblins and mud coordinators in King Dungeons are his, as well as the mud brain in The Choice. He's a long history with Carvel projects and is always a good person to have on the team. Mike Rimmer is the project management level designer and testing voice editing. Mike kept a top level view of project 
and made sure it moved forward. He made extra rooms for Kinugan Dungeon and held merging other people's rooms into the hold. He's also gotten very good at chopping up big waves files into small wave files and plugging them into holds, and he handled this rather tedious editing task. S these people. <laughs> acting. So these fellows, along with Neil, made up our acting troupe for the project. Sten was the voice of Bethro and the Neither. Yep. Sten is the Bethro guy. He's a really cool voice. I I'm sorry, Sten. You have an awesome voice. <laughs> and he also did the Neither, which they sound completely different. So good job on that. Gregory was played Helf, which we have not met Helf yet. We will meet him in our post-mastery. Chris made an odd robotic voice of a character we called the Simulacrium, and Michael played the Tar Brain. So these people uh, level designed and tested. These guys contributed extra rooms, suggested and made cor corrections. I think secret rooms are made by other people. I don't think they're made by the main developers. I mean, the main developers make some secret rooms, but I think some some secret rooms are made by um, fans of the game and stuff. So these guys contribute extra rooms, suggest some corrections, and help to debug their room design. All of them are hardcore Draud fans that have been playing the game for years. We're lucky to have such commitment. And I will be one of those people in a few years. If they, Yeah, so. <laughs> I just I just have to check one thing. You did find and conquer all the secret rooms, didn't you? You saw what was behind the master doors? Not really yet. It really isn't my business to bother you with it, I guess. But I want you to make sure you get in full experience. Thanks for playing. Extra things to the old timers who played through Can You Go Dungeon in both the original and improved form. I wish I could play the original. It would have been fun. Eric. And so that is it for the credits. So yeah. So that's it for Kinugun's Dungeon. Next time, post mastery. But I might not upload it right away. So, see you then everybody.